Okay, friends, moment of truth. The east-west bag trend is all over the place. Let's take a look at how well my east-west bags stack up as compared to my north-south bags. Let's get into it. So hi, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Witting Chic, a place where we recognize that no one wants to unwittingly make a bad luxury purchasing decision. So I love to share all of my tips, tricks, and inside experience with you all so that you can make smart, fun, and functional luxury purchases for your everyday lives. For those of you who are returning, thank you so, so much. Your support really means the world to me. There are lots and lots of videos that are uploaded to YouTube every single day, and the fact that you keep coming back and checking out the content on my channel really means a lot, so thank you so, so much. All right, so we're going to do a quick rundown of the bags that we have in front of us here, and just a little bit of a functional comparison between my east-west bags and my north-south bags. So what does that mean, east-west? Well, if you haven't seen the trends, then um, you might not know that east-west is the term that's being used to describe these bags that are very wide. Um, and so from like east-west, if we were looking at, you know, a compass, um, they're wide and stout versus bags that are north-south, which are more long, elongated, right? So that's the idea of the shape and where the word comes from. Now, I'm going to just show you the bags that I have in my collection that fall into each, and then I will leave you with my final thoughts as to which bag style is most functional. So stick around. Okay, so this is a bag that I've yet to reveal on my channel. This is a really cool bag that is from Zach Posen. So this is a purchase that I got from um, the Real Real. So you can see the real, real tag is still in there. Um, I don't know why I left that in there, but it just is still in there. I got it on sale. Um, Zach Posen is a more contemporary luxury brand, um, very affordably priced. It came with a Gucci dust bag. I don't know why it did, but I just sort of keep it in there to help keep it stuffed. Um, and what I really like about this clutch is the brushed metal hardware. I like that it's navy with the patent leather trim. I think that's kind of cool. And I also like this hardware. It just it just looks really tough and really cool. Like it's a really chic, neat piece of hardware here. But when you are carrying this bag, if you wanted to, you could slip it on like a ring and carry the clutch underneath and have the ring slipped on your finger just to help provide a little bit of additional security. So when I do carry this bag, um, that is often something that I will do. I will slip my finger through the ring to help me kind of grab the, the bag and allow it to have a little bit of a slouchy aesthetic. So um, yeah, there's just sort of an open pocket here, which is where like sometimes I'll stick like, you know, like a parking garage stub or a receipt or something. Um, but for the most part, I can fit my phone and all of my essentials. It's actually fairly spacious inside um, because it is, you know, a rather generous width. I think this is at least like 11 inches across by like four or five inches um, by like one or two, depending on how you squish it at the bottom. So um, yeah, very, very pleased with this overall. This is my Louis Vuitton little uh, Papillon pouch. So I have shown this bag briefly on my channel, along with its mama here. Um, so this is the Louis Vuitton Papillon. And um, this is in the classic, this is the 30 size. The width is 30 centimeters. Um, but of course, you can see it's much, much more stout. A more OG style of a, a, a east-west bag style. And then I don't have a whole lot of baguette style bags in my collection right now. So my uh, my coach bag will have to do. This is the coach tabby. It's a pillow tabby, so it's got that squishy leather. Um, but this is a, another very nice um, east-west style bag. I do use this one um, quite a lot, and so it's a very comfortable daily kind of bag. All right. And then how do those lovely ladies stack up against these lovely ladies? So these are some of my north-south style bags. So this is my um, beautiful So Kelly bag in the 22. That means for the base, it's uh, 22 centimeters across the bottom. And it's in palladium hardware. 
um, but it's much, much taller. I forget the exact measure measurements, but it's more like, you know, 35 centimeters long um, by 22 centimeters at the bottom. So it's definitely more of that north-south kind of aesthetic. And then I also lumped into this category my Evelyn. This is my Evelyn 29, 29 centimeters across the bottom. And kind of similar, um, you know, dimensions wise, like it technically from here to here, it's not that different than the width of the bag. So it might be technically more of a square than a rectangle, but in the experience of using this bag is one that people talk about as being very north-south, where like you put your stuff in and it just will fall to the bottom, um, unless you have like an organizer that will help keep things separated and even like lift things up a little bit from the bottom of the bag. So I included it in this category. And then I don't know that I've shown this bag on my channel or not. This old girl is um, the vintage Noe bag by Louis Vuitton that I purchased as my alternate baby bag a few years ago. But I've owned other Noe bags in the past. I knew that it would be super comfortable as just like a throw on and go kind of bag. Um, there's just sort of a, a chain strap right now on the D-rings um, as well as this um, aftermarket strap that I got off of Amazon. And I wanted this to be super comfortable that I could put across the, you know, across like stroller handles and stuff and really throw it around. So this has gotten a lot of use and abuse. When I purchased it, it was around $200 from a seller in Japan. The leather looked better than it does now, probably, um, because it, especially at the top, it was dry and really started cracking a lot with use. And so I've even lost chunks out of the leather as this has started peeling. So, um, yeah, that's just been kind of a bummer. Um, it's kind of a little unsightly now as it's getting into its flaky old uh, bag phase. So I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet, um, but I'll do another video on this bag as like a proper video. But the No Way bag in general, the size you can see, this bag was originally designed to hold five champagne bottles, four that you stick in in the corners of the bag, and then one that you turn upside down and place in between the other four. Um, and so that's what it was originally designed for. And it is just a big bucket. I mean, it's a reinforced leather bottom, um, but otherwise is very tall and is just sort of one open pit. So again, the experience of this bag is like your stuff all sinks to the bottom, right? Whereas in theory, the East West bag kind of solves that and it just sort of cuts the bag off. So you're left with, you know, all of your stuff that would be at the bottom of a bag just sort of more readily accessible because that's all there is to the bag. So, drum roll, which one wins? Um, honestly, in terms of how much I carry them and the overall functionality for this place in life that I'm in, I have to say my North South bags still win. Um, I love being able to throw a bunch of stuff into a bag just as like a busy working mom, that's just the place that I am in life where I need to be able to carry a lot of stuff with me or at least have the option to. Um, I think a lot more about what I'm taking with me when I'm taking a smaller bag. That said, this bag does get to be like my going to the kids' school and I don't wanna like wear a flashy bag, so I'll wear a more contemporary brand, you know. Um, but it doesn't fit that much. Like it has a couple of compartments and a zippered compartment but it really doesn't fit a whole lot and therefore um, I'm more careful about what I put in it. Um, and then the Papillon and um, the Zach Posen clutch, for the most part, like these are just sort of evening bags for me. Like I don't really dress them up and take them out on a day-to-day -day basis. They're really just more limited use. And that's why even though the East West is the big trend right now, I have to say, I am just not in a TBE kind of place in life. And therefore for me, North South bags still win. And if that's where it is for you too, that's okay. You don't have to hop on every single trend. Don't sell your North South, South bags just because East West is trending right now. Um, you know, a year or two will pass and we'll swing right back in the other direction. So I'm just here to say, even though East West is in, don't give up on North South. These trends will keep going back and forth probably for all time. So 
I am not opposed to picking up another East-West bag. I know there are some really beautiful East-West bags out there. I probably won't be picking one up, but that, all that's just to say I've been really appreciating the aesthetic, but I think it's important to recognize that in terms of purchasing, I'm in a place in life where I need to continue to invest in things that really fit my life and are functional for my real life and not just my fantasy life. So if these are the only East-West bags that stay in my collection, I'm a-okay -okay with that. I think it's just a reflection of where I'm at in life and I continue to use and appreciate the things I have and that's ultimately the goal. So wherever you are in the world today, I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you liked the video, please like it. Please leave a comment subscribe, share my content. Really appreciate that. And I will see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.